when I was a young seal, I was pretty typical young seal, pretty typical young man, meaning I thought I was invincible. I thought I could beat everyone in a fight because I didn't know jujitsu, so you just think you're just going to win, but that you're wrong. <laughs> I thought I knew everything, of course, and I thought I was smarter than everyone else. Kind of typical. Sometimes I would rub people the wrong way. And the people that I would rub the wrong way were especially people that I thought were not squared away in the chain of command. So if you weren't square, if you if you were my boss and I didn't think you were squared away, I was going to rub you the wrong way because I was going to be slightly offensive. As a matter of fact, I got an evaluation. It's one of the first evaluations that I got when I got to a SEAL team. And back in the day, yeah, you'd get you were rated four point. Zero was the highest you could get and it would go all the way down to whatever like one mm. But at this time ba- Basically everyone got four oh and everything right mm. you basically got four oh and everything you have to mess so, up So I got all four O's and I got a 3.8 which was like a major <laughs> dig Sure. And the dig was in I think it was like in Relation like I, I don't know what the word was, but when I got debriefed on it what the guy that gave me the three eight, what he what he told me, <laughs> which I actually was proud of because that's how stupid I was. He's like, sure. you you're you're too hostile with people that aren't squared away. That's literally what Dang. he told me, and I was all like, whatever. <laughs> you're damn right, I am hostile towards people that aren't squared away. I'm here to go to war, yeah. right? Just mm-hmm. an idiot. That's what that's what the situation was, and. You know, it made me mad if a leader was weak and I would form these antagonistic relationships with leaders if I thought that they were weak. Mm-hmm. And one of these bosses eventually that I thought I was better than, mm-hmm. right? I thought I was smarter. I thought I was smarter than him, right? I thought that he was an idiot. Sure. I should have his job. Right? How often do you think that, right? Mm-hmm. I should have that guy's job. I'm better yeah, than them. Yeah. I'm smarter than them. Yeah, yeah. And the more I showed this attitude, the worse our relationship got, and the, and the less he listened to me, and the less influence I had over how we did things. Mm-hmm. And therefore, the the worse we did, and the and the the worse our ability to perform got, because. He was just doing things the way he thought without any good input from anyone below him in the chain of command. Mm. All because I had formed this antagonistic relationship with him, which was bad. Mm. Because then he's not listening to me. And then one day, one day I said to myself, if I'm so smart, if I'm such a smart guy, why am I losing? Why am I losing? If I'm so smart, if I am so smart, why can't I get this guy to do what I want him to do? Even though he's my boss, doesn't matter. If I'm so smart, and I'm so much smarter than him, Mm. why can't I get him to do what I want him to do? Hmm. Why, if I'm so smart, how come I can't have more influence over the way we operate? If I'm so smart and he's so dumb. Mm And that's that's when I realized that's when I had an awakening (laughs) an awakening that instead of blaming him for being stupid I was the one who was being stupid I had lost the ability to influence my boss because I was being stupid and because of my ego I, I literally thought I deserved his job I mean, I thought pretty much anyone should, anyone in the platoon should have his job. <laughs> and therefore, since I thought that, I inst- I undermined him. Instead of supporting him, instead of building a relationship with him, I undermined him. Now, once I got humble and I started to build a positive relationship with him instead of an antagonistic one, that started to change. And... Because, because then he started listening to me. He started to change some things. And my influence over the whole situation became better because I now had a relationship. Despite the fact that I didn't really like the guy. Despite that fact, 
I built the relationship and the situation got better. I had more influence. And that became kind of my standard operating procedure was to build relationships with people. Even if I didn't like them, to build relationships with people so that I could have more influence. Now, does what does that sound like? Right? That sounds like I'm kind of this manipulative, yeah, yeah. two-faced, superficial, disingenuous guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's being devious and conniving, not keeping it real, right? But the fact is, that is not true. That's not that's not that's not who I am. You wanna know who I am? I'm a guy that's trying to accomplish the mission. That's what I am. I'm a guy that is trying to accomplish the mission who is putting my own ego in check to build a relationship with someone that I don't like, that I don't respect, but what I'm trying to do is improve our operational capability. That's what's more important to me. Trying to arrange the situation build the relationship so that we do better not so that i get promoted not so that i'm getting some accolades but so that we as a team do a better job put the little feelings aside because i want the team to win so if you're having having some trouble getting over your feelings and getting over your ego to build relationships for the good of the team, ask yourself the same question I asked myself a long time ago, which is this. If I am so smart, why am I not winning? And if you answer that question honestly, then you'll put your ego in check, you'll go build the relationships that will make you and your team accomplish the mission and win. Hmm. There you go. You know what? You know what's funny is we think about like why you wouldn't like someone. Mm-hmm. What what causes you to not like someone? Most of the time, that's your ego, anyways. Mm. Most of the time, that's your ego, anyways. But the bottom line is, you're going to interact with all kinds of different people. If you're in any kind of team whatsoever, which is most most human beings interact with other human beings. Yeah. It, through their job, through their life, through I mean you could apply this to your family too, right? Yeah. There's someone in your family that you don't get along with. Mm-hmm. Well, ha- what good does it do? Does it make your family unit better when you let those emotions play out and let your ego play out? No, it doesn't. You're better off, you'll get further and you'll have a better you'll have a better life in your family if you Put your ego in check and say, you know what? I'm just going to build a relationship with this person. It's going to make everything better and smoother.